Hi, so today I'm going to be telling you about my IELTS experience, how I got 8 bands in my very first attempt in IELTS. So if you want to jump straight into the part where I tell about the stuff that I used, you can check in the link. I have listed the minutes where I'm actually talking about that stuff. But if you want to listen to some details, I'm going to talk you through it. I gave in August 2017. I was doing my radiology rotation in house shop and I had plenty of time. So I chose uh, those days and uh, during that time I used to do IELTS Cambridge, you know the books. At that time there were 9 to 12 and now I think we have 9 to 14. So I used to do the reading passages from those books and I used to do like a one reading passage every day. And uh, I used to finish those reading passages one passage daily. Other than that I had a few links as well. YouTube links which I used to listen to every day because according to me I just used to think that what they want is that they want to see if you have a very good fluency in English language and they just test you for your English language skills and that's what I just you know made I made sure that I know those skills uh, the, uh, other than that the thing is this I had I had good English basics you know I had a good foundation, I studied from convent and uh, I did my O-levels as well and um, but when you spend five years in MBBS there's no actually you know uh, there's no institution in Pakistan where you would you know just continually speak English every single day and uh, so I just wasn't that sure of myself throughout. So what happened was that I did uh, I watched uh, some seasons as well but that really didn't help me what I did was I uh, spoke with a few friend, few friends of mine every day on a daily basis for, for some time but my weakest parts were reading and writing so writing I practiced I listened to IELTS Liz IELTS Emma and IELTS Buddy and uh, other than that the writing thing I practiced it at home I used to time myself and I used to do a task one and task two and for example in task one you have a lot of bar graphs and you know charts so I just used to make sure that I know what other words can I use for the beginning or introductory paragraphs as well so I had a list of those words with me but I used them a lot I practiced for writing and reading and um, that basically helped me a lot in this so I would definitely recommend the IELTS Cambridge books that you go through them really well. All, all of them if you have time, you know, like now you have 9 to 14. So there are totally six books, I think, that you should go through. And that's really going to help you. Other than that, go through the videos of IELTS Liz, IELTS Emma and IELTS Buddy. There's also this website called IELTS Podcast, if I'm not wrong. They have amazing essays, like they have very good vocabulary. And if you're not sure about something, you know, just use Google. Google has the answer to almost everything. So just use Google, write down the word which you think you need good vocabulary for. And so many other options will just pop out. But you really need practice. I know some people who have given IELTS for six, seven, eight times as well, and they haven't been able to, you know, get through with it. So you should definitely practice a lot. If you're weak at some task you know I was weak in reading and writing and I worked really hard for it and for reading I watched a lot of videos because I was very confused in yes no and not given or true false and not given so there is a difference and you need to see a couple of videos to be sure that you know what the difference is so that's also a very important thing we, we're in a global pandemic okay currently in Pakistan I don't I don't I haven't heard the British Council taking any exam for now. They've just been postponing it since March. So you have a lot of time if you're into the paper-based IELTS thing, you have a lot of time and you can, you know, practice a lot of stuff while you're home, you know, like practice every day and it's definitely going to make your English better. If you have more time, just read some podcasts, uh, watch some podcasts, read some English newspapers, get done. And you don't even have to get newspapers, you can watch uh, something online or you can read something on the internet as well because that's just more convenient. But do not give IELTS without practice. Even for somebody like me who had good English in the school, uh, I still worked hard on my English for the IELTS exam because I was just too much... Um, I wasn't sure of myself because I just thought that, you know, it's been so long. So I wasn't sure of myself, but I still, you know, practiced a lot, I think, 
for reading i did a lot and for writing i did not do a lot but i did something and it just turned out really well i had the lowest band score in writing it was seven but for plab you need like 7.5 on average so i got i got like really nice bands i i am proud of myself but i might as well give i'll again and if i do i'm going to make another video in which i will you know write down all the study links that i used first i'll have to see what bands i get in that so if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up and um do like and subscribe to my channel